Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 44 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. Dang it, I forgot my ears again. If I were you, I would grab a drink. A strong one, preferably. I don't know why. Maybe because we're extra. And he had just gotten it level. One of the cats came. So oh, I'm all ready and set to go for the video of today now that Miss Muffet has her Santa hat on <laughs> You saw by the title the this or that Christmas edition I just saw my friend Debbie from Vinyl Beauty do this one I thought this is so freaking brilliant I'm going to go upstairs and film it myself now So her video downstairs is actually on pause Because I thought I, I want to film it now before I take off my makeup because I really do like the makeup I will link Debbie's video down below by the way it's not a tag We can make it a tag Let's let's make it a tag I have seen this this or that Christmas edition floating around on Instagram I have actually done it um, But it is just brilliant that she made it into a video The makeup that I have on my face is a collab with my friend Uli from Makeup Monsterly I will link Two videos about that down below because it was also a takeover So if you click on the video that's on my channel You just see my black and white intro And then you see her look which you should look Which you should watch nonetheless And I will also link the one that's on her channel That is my makeup look that I have on the face Now the eyeshadow palette is the made by Mitchell Feet on the ground That is enough rambling for There's also a kitty cat here So it's going to be fun. I have no idea who started this on Instagram. I don't know. I am going to name my friend Debbie as the starter of the YouTube part of it. And I'm going to make it a tag as well. So yeah, there is that. <laughs> Let's start with the questions here. So the, question, the questions are listed in the description box as well. The first one is Christmas morning or Christmas Eve? Well... Basically, um, if you are Dutch, you know that you have, well, I think Belgium has that as well Basically, we have two Christmas days Yes, I know, it's shocking So does the UK, by the way, because they have Christmas Day and they have Boxing Day And Boxing Day is their, basically their second day of Christmas And we have two, and I think Belgium and Germany have two as well I don't know why, maybe because we're extra However, we always celebrate Christmas Eve For the whole family Everyone brings something to eat uh, Small snacks that they have preferably made themselves And then we give each other just tiny bits of presents You know, and that was before we had any of us had kids And that stuck So usually, except this year But usually everyone gathers at the 24th of December in my house And we have loads of food uh, We have presents And usually most of the presents are for the children And we just have an evening of fun So that the rest of the Christmas days Everyone is free to do and celebrate whatever they want And then usually Christmas morning I make a breakfast Basically we eat the, almost until New Year's The stuff that is left at my house uh, food wise But yeah this year is obviously a little bit different uh, But yeah my answer is Christmas Eve Because that is usually how we celebrate it With the complete family together Except this year So yeah, let's go on to the second one then Tea or hot chocolate? It's easy, it's hot chocolate I don't drink a lot of tea I'm, I, I don't I like me my tea sometimes I do like matcha latte though But is that real tea? Yeah, it is tea But not like most people think of when they think of tea Oh, Miss Muffet is coming out, going out of frame Oh no, what's happening? I don't know um, So yeah, for me it's hot chocolate Easy answer actually A fake tree or a real tree? Well, I have had a fake tree for years That has a reason The first reason is um, I have cats And I distinctly remember My father putting up a real tree And he had it was a big tree And it just fit in the house And he had it secured with threads everywhere To have it straight in the, I don't even know, I think it was a, a separate uh, feet part You know, that you can kind of screw it into or something like that And he had just gotten it level One of the cats came, jumped in a tree and it fell over The year after that we had a fake tree 
So yeah, that's one. <laughs> oh God, I still see it in front of me. Anyway, <laughs> that was that's the first reason. The second reason is when uh, I just got together with my husband and we were celebrating our first Christmas together, I wanted a real tree. I want the real tree so bad. Um, so we got a real tree, but those things, which isn't weird, when you cut down a tree, it kind of dies, you know, so it leaves it. To make a long story short, when we moved out of that apartment three years later, I could still find needles stuck into the um, carpet. So that was the first and the last time we had a real tree. And uh, now also with the cats, I have a fake tree that I can secure to hooks that I have or screws that I have in a wall. And also I have plastic balls. Plastic balls and fake trees are the best invention since... I don't know. Fried rice? Is that a, is that a, is that a word? Also, I'm not one for cutting down trees just because you can. You know, we need to be careful. We need to be careful with nature. We need to pamper nature a little bit because we are um, we are not nice to mother earth as a species. So yeah, fake tree all the way. Yes. Okay. Then the next one is Christmas cookies or candy cane. Um, I think Christmas cookies. Yeah. Actually, is that also a question? Um, if I decorate my tree with treats, it is usually candy canes. And it is not specifically Christmas cookies, but Christmas chocolate wreath, wreaths, thingy majingies, that are filled with stuff and that's usually what i have in the tree and then that that is actually my answer instead of christmas cookies but i don't think you guys have that in the us so basically i'm yeah i'm, I'm changing it to christmas wreath chocolate christmas wreath thingamajingies for in the tree that's my answer yes i like to cheat sue me uh fairy lights or candles it's fairy lights um But I also I also like candles though. For in the tree it's fairy lights and I have actually fairy lights all year round in my house because I have uh, big branches that are uh, in the corners and they have fairy lights around them. So that's basically my lighting at home and downstairs. Um, but I also like candles. Especially when it's cold, because then when you uh, strewn about, when you uh, light a lot of candles, it get, gets warmer. But yeah, I you also have to light them. I think I'm going for, can I go for both? For in the tree, fairy lights. As lighting, fairy lights, but I also really love candles. Tea lights, that is. I like tea lights more than candles. So I'm going actually going to say both. Yeah, well, I'm very, I'm very long-winded apparently today. Um... Comfy clothes or dressing up? Um, I like to dress up for Christmas Eve uh, because I like to. And to be honest, my dressing up style is comfy anyway. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Even if I'm wearing a corset because I'm going all gothic, witchy and stuff... It is not that tight that I cannot eat in it. So it's still kind of comfortable. So... My my dressing up style is com my dress up stuff clothing yes is comfy anyway because otherwise I just won't wear it so it is um, dressing let's say dressing up for Christmas Eve and then comfy for the rest but it's comfy anyway my dressing up clothes but then I can go in my PJs for for the other two Christmas days so basically my answer is <laughs> wow. <laughs> If I were you, I would grab a drink. A strong one, preferably. But basically, the 24th, so Christmas Eve, I'm going to dress up. Also, my Yule celebration, because that's also part of Christmas for me, uh, is my kind of dress up a little bit. And then uh, the rest, I will go into PJs. L let's, let's just say that, yes. Uh, Christmas music or Christmas movies? Both. Both. We, uh, yeah, we actually celebrate, or to me, not, not we specifically me but here in the netherlands and i think in belgium as well we celebrate uh, sinterklaas which is you can kind of it's it's kind of kind of like santa but not really but it kind of is because instead of elves he has 
helpers. And it's a whole controversy, but basically it's the 5th of December. And I want, when I put up my tree, I want Christmas music. When I went to put up my tree on 30th of November, because I found myself being extra, I wanted my tree up. We had Sinterklaas songs. I did not like it. So I want Christmas music, yes. And I also want Christmas movies, because I love those. I love Christmas movies. So both, yes. Uh, receive or give gifts, both. I like to get gifts, but I also like to give them. So it's both. Cinnamon or peppermint? Mm, I think cinnamon. Yeah, I think cinnamon because I love cinnamon so, so cinnamon mm, cinnamon so so much. I use it all year round. I have cinnamon scented candles that I basically stock up on right now because now they are sold, and I burn them throughout the year. Same with my. Um, it's kind of a wax melter, but an electric one. I still have the wax melt in because I add my oil in, uh, my incense oil in. And that is a Christmas scent because it has cinnamon and stuff. So yeah, it, it, yeah, it needs to be cinnamon. And that's it. That, wow, I was pretty long winded, I felt. And I've only been filming for 13 minutes. So that is good. This was so, so fun, guys. Let me know down below. If you liked it, uh, if you have a channel, I tag you now because I am making this a tag video, even though my friend Debbie, as far as I know, filmed it first for YouTube. So for me, she is going to be the originator of this tag on YouTube. I don't know who started this on Instagram, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if you are deciding to do this tag as well, and you know who, the, who has started it on Instagram, link that person as well. And otherwise, please credit my friend Debbie, because she's then the originator of it here on the internet of YouTube. I will link the chat, I will list the questions down below. I really like these. If you have more this or that that you kind of want me to do, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to check out Debbie's video and her channel. And if you don't have a channel and you want, I'm fancy with my hands again, apparently. If you don't have a channel and you want to do this, uh, please give me your answers in the comment section because I'm very, very curious. This was a fun, quick video, just, you know, strewn in between here and there somewhere. Yes, that is going to be it. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to go to the side to give a special thank you to the members that you will see scrolling on the screen. If you want to become a member, there's a link to join in the description box. I hope I made a smidgen of sense. If I didn't, at least I hope it was entertaining. Let me know either way down in the description box. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the bell so you will be notified of my next upload, which will be very, very soon. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.